Well, I think we're going to see that ratched up massively as we get closer to that time. Um, it's going to be another uh, reason to uh, create massive fear and anxiety. And um, I must say that I, I have a, a, a kind of a different view of 2012. You know, I, I call it the, um, the, if you like, the spiritual Y2K. We're not careful. Um, and I think it's being turned into that in the, the reasons that you're talking about. This. Uh, Apocalyptic. Um, the, the clock is ticking. We're we're we're, we're coming to the you know midnight, as they say. Um, there is, without question, an energetic change going on of enormous magnitude. And um, the first book I ever wrote on these subjects, after my own uh, extraordinary awakening in 1989, 1990, when the top of my head blew off, was called Truth Vibrations. And the reason it was called that was that I understood um, from that early time that there was a vibrational change coming um, within my lifetime. There was no sign of it in 1990, uh, I can tell you, but uh, my goodness me, is it obvious now if you know where to look. Um, and that this vibrational change was going to bring to the surface all that's remained hidden. That which has um, been happening in secret was going to be brought to the surface by this vibrational change and it was going to act like a spiritual alarm clock for those that were ready to be awakened and um, that's why I called it truth vibrations uh, and so um, I should be someone of all people given that background who should be jumping on 2012 in the Mayan calendar and saying hey look see it, it's correct it's like what I said but um, I think there's a lot of disinformation with regard to all that and I'm absolutely giving it no focus myself in terms of 2012 and some time in 2012 when this is all supposed to happen. What I am focusing on is the fact that there is a uh, extraordinary energetic change happening which is, as your article points out that I've just been looking at um, is uh, manifesting as uh, strange things happening in the sun, um, uh, strange things happening um, energetically all round. And it does fit into um, what I um, understood um, was coming back in 1990, which was this energetic transformation, which was going to fundamentally affect the way uh, humans experienced and understood reality in themselves. It was like a veil was going to be lifted and this was going to make it happen. And it seems to me, Alex, that it's no coincidence that in this time, of all times, it's when the forces of control and suppression are, I would suggest, in a panic-stricken way, if you look beyond the calm arrogance of the front, um, desperately trying to um, impose more and more controls the microchip population so that they can get um, access um, to the body computer systems and manipulate us mentally, emotionally and physically and hold the vibrational um, uh, expansion uh, down uh, from a distance. Um, the way that they are using um, and planning to use HARP, which I feel strongly um, in some way interrelates with the chemtrails um, in an effort to create uh, like a sub-reality in the lower levels of the atmosphere where we um, uh, live in and we experience so that there is a, um, uh, a mass of um, communications to the individual and collective human mind David, um, to throw us off the path, to throw us off the, um, the awakening. And, um, again, if you can uh, stimulate, because in, in the end, you know, this body computer is a hologram. Um, and a hologram is a illusory physical um, a body. It's not a real one, it's an illusory one. We decode uh, uh, vibrational and electrical information into holographic information. And um, so what we're looking at in the world, as we talked about with the, with the book there, um, is a holographic world, a holographic body. But what that is, in its essence, is energy. Um, and if you can manipulate that energy, you manipulate um, all levels of that um, energetic construct. One and two levels of it are electromagnetic and, um, and chemical. So you are affecting people emotionally. Just take a simple example. 
People take um, certain poisons and certain drugs which access the body computer yes. chemically and they have transformations of their emotional state. They can go wild, they can go wild with guns like some of these people on, on Ritalin and, and, and these other mind manipulating drugs they give to young people. Um, they can um, go into mass depression like some people do when they've been poisoned with mercury etc. So. Um, you can access the body computer, which is multi-level, chemical, electromagnetic, energetic, holographic, from many different access points. And one of them is through uh, radio waves, radio transmissions, on the frequency that will sync with the body systems. And that's massively what HARP is about, bouncing radio waves off the ionosphere and bathing this uh, lower level of, um, of um, uh, Earth reality with uh, a mass of instructions and confusing uh, 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 information to destabilize and to misdirect the, the mind, body, computer level of uh, perception. Again, if you're coming from consciousness, you override that, but if you're caught in the body, uh, computer, body, mind level of perception, then you're caught in this, in this web. And of course, um, I said to someone once, um, how do you affect all the fish? you affect the sea, then you affect all the fish. You don't have to affect every individual fish and go around and manipulate them all. You just manipulate the, the ocean they're swimming through. And what, what is the symbolic ocean with they're swimming through? It's energy, it's, it's um, electromagnetic fields. And, um, and this is all building up. Um, all the things they're throwing at us, all the um, additives in food and drink, which again, as I said earlier, destabilize the body computer system, put viruses in, in effect, on a chemical and electro, um, magnetic level all this together because again connect the dots all this together is like a massive defense system against this awakening that this energetic change is bringing about it's the irresistible force uh, against the immovable object except the yes. immovable object the manipulation is not immovable